scene. You got a lot of photos, photos from home, photos from Japan, photos from weddings, photos from holidays, photos from wild safaris, birthdays, Southeast Asia, cats, more cats, photos, 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 photos. You have a lot of photos. What's your workflow? The problem, my old workflow, from camera to hard drive to Lightroom, or from camera to mobile Lightroom to hard drive. Running out of hard drive space, get more flash drives, another hard drive, starting to stack up, running out of hard drive space, upload all photos to a cloud storage to keep them safe and to be less cluttered. Pricey. Too many versions, duplicates. Two or three files of each picture. Raw photos, JPG photos. Duplicates, 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 duplicates. Okay, download everything, save them to my three terabyte hard drive. Keep everything local. Need a backup, means more hard drives. It's a cycle that doesn't end. Maybe purchase Adobe Cloud Storage Space as well. Get rid of everything, put everything on Adobe Lightroom and keep it safe on there. How much is cloud storage on Adobe Lightroom? Yep. What do you actually want from your workflow? My workflow revolves around four different things. One being the camera, done, easy. Two, mobile accessible and being able to edit photos on mobile applications. Three, avoiding duplicates. Mm. Four, using storage on my own local network, not using cloud storage and avoiding subscription fees. So after I purchased my NAS storage, I knew I needed to pull all my photos from all my cloud services so I can compile them into one folder. Adobe Lightroom, well, this is what happened. So Adobe decided to reorganize all of my photos when I downloaded them from their cloud storage. They all had names, all folders, subfolders, all had names already organized. And bulk download reorganizes all of them into by date folders. Right here, right down here, you can see. This is on the Lightroom website, on the web-based version, and I have everything on the cloud by name. And there's nothing that I can recognize from what I organized before. That's a lot of lost organization. Now I have about seven to eight years worth of photos that are all unorganized now, just by date. Fair enough, that's a great option. However. I already organized them, so I think I should have the option to keep that organization. I have no idea what beach photo is what beach photo. So is this intentional by Adobe or is this, I don't know, or maybe I just missed something. Maybe I missed an option or missed a tick from Adobe Lightroom on cloud. That's a pretty big failure on their end. That's either going to continue to create more income by keeping people and keeping them stuck in their cloud storage system, or it will force people to migrate. So in my mind, what that says is the longer you wait, the worse it gets. So after months of research and trials of different photo management software that can also edit photos, I finally came across On One Photo Raw 2021. Let's get to work. What I'm finding is that I have a lot of duplicate photos because I had so many different spaces that I was saving photos, whether it was a raw photo because it was accepted on Lightroom, but Smug Mug didn't accept raw photos. So I had all my raw on Lightroom. And then on the desktop version, I also had everything saved on external hard drives just for backup. And it's just a mess. So what I do is when I migrate them and put them all in one folder, if it says this file already exists, I say skip that file and then I delete the other ones because they're duplicates. So with my new photo application, On One Raw Photo 2021, weird long name, but whatever, it works. I use the Smart Organize option where you can search for duplicates that you miss and you can go to a specific folder and I'm going to choose this one, my 2020 folder, which has a ton of photos in it that I've already organized. And I think I deleted most of the duplicates and I click select folder and I do duplicate photos and then I click find and it will search that entire folder for duplicates and what you can do after it finishes you can mark them you can reject them you can delete them you can move them to another folder so many different options so nice so easy one other little thing adobe why doesn't lightroom like to use network storage 
I don't understand. I just got my new NAS drive with RAID storage for backups to happen automatically. It's, it's all perfect. It's running smoothly, but why doesn't Lightroom like it? So I went back and did a little research. Couldn't really find much as to reasons why it's not supported. I did find a couple workarounds, which also uses a cloud, which is something I'm trying to avoid. However, what I do know is that on one photo raw 2021, the newest version, is a one-time fee to use it. There's no subscription. And it can use a catalog stored on my network. Thank you, on one. Thank you. There's even an option to choose what photos are uploaded to the Cloud Sync if you decide to opt in for that. What's even better for me is that straight from the application, I can share the original photos and edits right to my network storage. Adobe, 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 Adobe. So to recap, I now have all my photos in one location, can organize them the way that I want, no fees, no duplicates, and it's mobile friendly for on the go. This was not sponsored and was simply my experience migrating from Adobe Lightroom. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and sub if you want more content. Dude out.